Today we're making a custom leather holster for this Ruger 357 Security 6. Let's get started. We're going to start where all good leather projects start, with a piece of paper. I got the pistol here laid out and I'm kind of trying to decide exactly how my design's going to go. What I'm going to be working on here is a pseudo-tactical shoulder holster for this thing. And I'm going to kind of do some different kind of curves with the leather. I got an idea, let's sketch it out and see what happens. So that's my basic design of the back panel of what I want the holster to look like. Everything will protect the pistol from coming in contact with my body. Now all I have to do is figure out how I'm going to create the holster itself around this design. Here's the design before I cut it out. With the design cut out, I'm going to give you an idea of what this is going to look like. This part of the leather is going to fold over, and then what I'm going to do is wet mold the leather around the gun. Once the form is set in place, it'll create a perfect custom fit around this particular pistol. After messing around with the template a little more, I had to add just a little bit to it, just to make sure that I had enough leather to compensate for the foldover. The leather's cut out, and this is exactly what it's going to look like. Take this piece here, fold it over, wet mold it, and then we'll cut off all the excess. Yeah, I know there's some marks up there in the leather. I'm not worried about that. That's all going to be cut off at a later point in this project. The gun has to sit in the wet mold overnight, and I don't have one of those fancy, you know, plastic molds of this gun. So I'm going to use the next best thing. I'm going to use the gun itself, just wrapped in plastic. I don't need the entire piece of leather wet for this project, just the part that's going to be molded. So this is kind of how I set that up to make that work. With the leather wet, I went ahead and bolted it over and started molding it into place. I just used my knuckles and my thumbs to form in the shape of the gun. Sorry I didn't get that on video, but I was working pretty quick and couldn't really slow down to do that. A couple things of note here. I've got a piece of plastic between the gun, the wet leather, and the dry leather that's on the back so that there's no transfer there. Everything's nice and flat on that cutting board. Now all I have to do is have this sit overnight, but I need to get some weight on it to make sure it holds the form. For my weights, I'm using these shot style dive weights. They will uh, self-form around the gun itself, giving me a perfect mold of the firearm. I let everything sit overnight and it appears that everything's dry now. You can see it held all the detail and the lead shot weights that I was using did not transfer any design to the top grain of the leather, so that's good. Won't have to work that out. Everything seems to be coming along nicely. Let's keep on moving. I pulled the gun out and the leather's holding its shape very well. Everything's nice and dry. Here I traced out the panel that's going to cover up the flesh side of the leather that is on the back between the molded part of the holster and the back of the holster. Since that probably didn't make any sense, this panel is going to go in between the holster here. And as you can see, these are the marks I was talking about earlier. And there's also some marks down here on this piece of leather. Don't worry though, those will either be hidden or completely cut out of this project. Here I drew the basic holster design and how I want the uh, holster shaped across the front of the trigger guard. Last but not least, I take the razor knife, cut off this notch here that I've marked, and this will give the holster its final design. And also, as I promised, get rid of those marks that were on the leather. And with that notch cut out, that essentially finishes part one of this project. Part two of this project will be finishing this holster, and part three will be adding all the strapping. Thanks for hanging out with me today. If you're looking forward to part two, you know I'd appreciate that thumbs up like. Follow us on Instagram and see what projects don't make it to video, and maybe, just maybe, I'll see you on the next video. If you enjoy videos about the randomness of our amazing world, consider clicking on the globe to subscribe, or maybe checking out one of the other videos right here.